Hello, welcome to Raw Online. I am Dr. Vijay Raghavan. Today we are going to talk, uh, take a topic on hyperthyroidism. Hyperthyroidism is where there is an increased thyroid hormones in the body. Hyperthyroidism and thyrotoxicosis are used interchangeably. But then hyperthyroidism is a state of increased secretion of thyroid hormone. Whatever the cause is, if there is increased thyroid hormone in the system, we call it hyperthyroidism. Thyrotoxicosis is reserved for a clinical syndrome of hyperthyroidism. So what is the difference? If the patient has a clinical manifestation of increased thyroid in the body, then you call it thyrotoxicosis. Patient may have no symptoms at all in spite of increased thyroid hormone in the body, then you call it hyperthyroidism. So hyperthyroidism is predominantly a biochemical state, whereas thyrotoxicosis is a clinical state. Now coming back to the types of hyperthyroidism. Now you classify the hyperthyroidism depending on the organ responsible for the disease. Obviously when the primary disease is in the thyroid gland, you call it primary hyperthyroidism. There are ever so many diseases which can produce primary hyperthyroidism. For example, Graves disease, toxic adenoma, it is an autonomous nodule in the thyroid gland producing increased amount of thyroid. Toxic multinodal goiter, otherwise called plumber's disease, functional thi functioning thyroid carcinoma with metastasis, very unusual. Drugs, iodine excess, classically we call it Joad Bestow's phenomenon, where there is an increased thyroid production because of iodine excess. There is a group of diseases which produce a transient hyperthyroidism. That means a, a period of few months of increased thyroid production classically happens in inflammatory thyroid disease. We will look into it later. It can happen in radioactive ablation also. Now coming to secondary hyperthyroidism. Any TSH secreting pituitary adenoma can produce hyperthyroidism. There is an entity called thyroid hormone resistance syndrome. Chronic gonadotrophin secreting tumors. You have to remember gonadotrophins act like TSH. So any disease which increases the gonadotrophin, it could be a chorionic gonadotrophin or any other source of gonadotrophins, this can create a situation like hyperthyroidism. Gestational thyrotoxicosis. This is a beta HCG acting as a thyroid stimulating hormone. Stroma ovary, where ovarian dermoid tumors can have uh, thyroid tissue there, may secrete thyroid hormones and create a situation of hyperthyro hyperthyroidism. Now coming to pathophysiology, thyroid hormone secretion depends on TSH, TSH releasing hormone which is coming from hypothalamus. Now basically there is an increased production of T4 and T3 by the thyroid gland. As we said in Graves disease, Plummer's disease, toxic nodule or transient hypersecretion in thyroiditis or radioablation. Second issue is increased peripheral conversion from T4 to T3. You have to remember T4 is a storage form and T3 is an active form. So if there is any reason for increased conversion from T4 to T3, there will be state of hyperthyroidism. Another important factor to remember is all the features that hyperthyroidism are classically because of hyperadrenaline state. Now, hyperthyroidism per se does not increase the serum adrenaline level, but thyroxine enhances the response of beta adrenaline receptor to the endogenous catecholamines. So even when the normal catecholamines are available is in the circulation, the response to that catecholamine is enhanced by increased thyroxine level. So any thyrotoxic symptoms will be classically like hyperadrenaline state. Now if you talk about differential diagnosis of 
hyperthyroidism. The first one is pheochromocytoma, a classical picture of hyperadrenaline state. And the second is anxiety neurosis, where again there is increased adrenaline state. Now coming to Graves disease, this is a classical primary thyrotoxicosis caused by autoimmune disease. Autoimmune antibodies against TSH receptors causes stimulatory antibodies and that increases the thyrotoxic increases causes thyrotoxicosis. This antibody is variously called long acting thyroid stimulator thyroid stimulating immunoglobulins, thyroid stimulating antibodies or TSH receptor antibodies. It is a stimulatory antibody against TSH receptor.